Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about change data capture in Salesforce. Uh, this is part of the streaming API using which we can publish events for all custom objects and some standard objects. So Salesforce has provided this, like we can publish the events use, without using any code. So uh, let's start. Firstly, let's see what is change data capture. So with change data capture, we receive near real time changes of Salesforce record, which we can use to synchronize with the external systems. So uh, change data capture publish change events, which represent changes to Salesforce records. Uh, changes include new uh, creation of a new record, updates to an existing record, deletion and undeletion. The objects can be selected through UI for publishing events. As I said, we don't uh, need any code. Uh, using change data capture, we can update data in the external system instead of uh, doing periodic exports and imports of data or repetitive API calls. So with change data capture, whenever there is a change in data of let's say account and we have enabled the uh, CDC for accounts, notifications will be sent automatically uh, with the CDC with, uh, or to which the external system can subscribe to and make changes in their external system. So it's uh, highly efficient rather than doing periodic exports and imports of data or repetitive API calls. Uh, now let's uh, see more about CDC. So uh, as a core logic of the streaming API, you know, uh, we publish events uh, and uh, the events stay in the event bus and uh, the external subscriber subscribes to that channel, a specific channel. And whenever they receive an event, they do so, they they perform some necessary action. So uh, here uh, in CDC also we will have some subscription channels. So firstly, CDC supports all custom objects and some standard objects. The channel for subscription is uh, slash data slash uh, standard object name and will append change event at the end. For example, slash data slash standard object name is account. And the, so the uh, name would be account change event. And for a custom object name, uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, put employee. Let's say the custom object name is employee underscore underscore C. So we, uh, we'll use employee underscore underscore change event. So this is for the uh, custom object. So uh, apart from that, we can create a custom channel, which I'll explain later. So uh, custom channel makes it uh, highly efficient uh, for the subscribers to subscribe to just a single channel instead of subscribing to multiple channel channels for uh, different objects. So we, uh, a subscriber can use PubSub API, Comedy and Apex Triggers. Uh, Apex Triggers is for uh, our Salesforce all. So we can use these events to subscribe to the change data capture events. Uh, as I said, we can use tri a trigger. So let's uh, see an example. So uh, only the after insert event is supported uh, for a change data capture trigger so, and the trigger will run asynchronously under automated process entity. So I have previously created a video uh, to uh, change the running user of the platform event trigger. So you can check out my channel and uh, watch that. So uh, if we if we don't change the running user, so by default it will run by automated process entity and I'll trigger a uh, body would be something like this a uh, trigger trigger name on account change event since I since I told you like we'll just append the change event at the end of the standard object or let's say if it's a custom object we'll append underscore underscore change event and it only supports after insert and we'll add our logic here so uh, yes so this was all about uh, change data capture so firstly let's let's see a quick demo uh, using workbench so what we'll do is uh, we'll log into Workbench, choose API 56.0, log in with Salesforce. So we have successfully logged in since I was already logged in the, in the other window. So it didn't uh, went to the login screen. Now in the queries, go to stream push topics and click on generic subscriptions. So as we know, uh, the channel name would be slash data slash account change event and we'll subscribe to this channel and we will subscribe to that channel. So we have successfully subscribed to that channel 
now before subscribing uh i'll i'll just show you how we can enable change data capture notifications for an object just uh, in the quick find in the setup just search for change data capture and uh, you'll you'll have this uh, multi select pick list you can select account and contact uh, or any of the objects you want i selected these two uh, for the tutorial purpose and i'll just you can just save it so for any changes any changes for created updated deletion and undeletion uh, notifications would be sent for these two objects so i've subscribed to that account change event now uh, let me go to the app and uh, let me open this account i'll click on edit so i've changed the speed i'll click on save and see the note we have got a notification that there is an update change type is update entity type is account this is the id and this is the changed field so uh, uh, so in the payload you will only see the fields that have changed right uh, so only we can see the name because the name has changed uh, and there is not any other field that got changed uh, so this was uh, a way uh, we can subscribe to the standard events now let's go back to our slides and see uh, what are custom channel in uh, CDC and what are field enrichment. So custom channels are useful when there are multiple subscribers and each subscriber receives change events for a different set of objects. Instead of subscribing to a default change event channel, your app can create and subscribe to a custom channel that receives only the events for the objects you are interested in. So uh, you can also create one or more custom channels to group uh, change events on the, on the channel that your app subscribes to. So let's say uh, uh, there is a subscriber uh, which needs to subscribe to account, contact and opportunity events. So instead of subscribing uh, differently to all the three channels, uh, we will create a custom channel. We will add all uh, the objects there and we uh, in this custom channel we can do a uh, field enrichment so let's as we saw in the tutorial that uh, in the workbench that only the change events uh, only the change fields gets published in the payload so uh, now let's say there is a user who wants uh, a field to be published every time whether it's changed or not so for that we can use field en uh, enrichment we can provide in the fields and that those fields would be always present in the cdc payload so that is one of the benefit apart from that uh, let's say we want to add a condition so let's say we want to only publish events when uh, a specific condition is uh, uh, fulfilled so we can also do that using a custom cdc custom channel so uh, now let's see how to create a custom channel we can use tooling or metadata api to create a platform event channel which represents a custom channel uh, and after that, we can create a platform event channel member to have multiple objects associated to that channel. Uh, we'll provide the enrich fields in the JSON request body. So let's see a diagram. So firstly, we'll create a platform event channel. We'll provide a full name that could be specific to an API name. Uh, in this channel, we will uh, provide a pr uh, we'll provide multiple platform event channel members, and we'll provide the selected entity. The selected entity represents the object. So this is for the account change event. This is for the contact change event. This is for the order change event, right? And uh, in the account change events, we'll also provide the enriched fields. Uh, that means industry and phone will always be present in the payload uh, whenever there is a change event on the account. So a subscriber can subscribe to this channel and they'll receive notification for all these three objects. So isn't it better uh, instead of subscribing to account change event, then contact and then order? Yep. So now let's see a demo of uh, change data capture with a custom channel and with standard events. With standard events, I think uh, I've shown you uh, using Workbench. So we'll see using a custom channel. Firstly, we'll create a custom channel using uh, Postman with the help of tooling API in Salesforce. And uh, then uh, we'll subscribe to that channel using Workbench and we'll see the notifications. So let's start. So uh, we are in Postman. Uh, so uh, when you first log in to Postman, I've already created videos. Uh, so you can search that how to log in to Postman. I'll attach the video links uh, on how to create a connected app and then log in to Postman. 
so uh so you can watch those videos and uh, after that uh, i'll just quickly explain so we'll have to make we'll authorize we'll have to authorize to salesforce using oauth 2.0 uh so we'll provide the auth url uh we'll provide the access token url we'll provide the client id and the client secret from the connected app we'll provide the scope that is a full scope and we'll provide uh this client authentication that that is same client credentials and body uh then uh, we'll click on get new access token uh so it will ask us to open in postman open in postman so after that your access token will be added to the headers so i have all I have, my access token is already added uh, to the header so it will be like bearer space your access token after the access token has been added uh, now you can make a call so firstly uh, we'll have to create a platform event channel so for that i'll just copy this and i'll go back to postman i'll change it to platform event channel so the uri would be your uh, my domain name slash services slash data slash version slash uh, tooling slash s objects slash platform event channel since this is tooling api we will be using tooling api so tooling api is uh, just based on the rest protocol in salesforce uh, now we'll uh, now click on body click on uh, raw and change the type to json uh, now i'll just copy paste this body and i'll exp so we'll provide in the full name and we'll provide in the metadata so uh the full name is event sales app underscore underscore channel so this is the channel will which will subscribe to will have metadata in the metadata will we are providing uh the label and the channel type so uh, in the label we have provided custom channel for the sales app so let's extend it we'll make a post request so let's now let's click on the send button and see the response so we have clicked on the send button and uh, we can see the responses uh, are 201 uh, created and we have returned we have got this id so this id means the channel has been created successfully uh, now we will create a platform event uh, channel member so let's let me copy this uh, uri and copy paste that in postman i'll provide these uris uh, in the description or the comments uh, now I will copy this uh, body and paste that in Postman. So uh, we have added these two enriched fields uh, in this uh, and the selected entity is account change event. We have provided a full name and we have provided an event channel that we previously created, right? And we have changed the URI to platform event channel member. Now just click on send send and we'll get this response uh, so this uh, id starting with zero small v8 that means a uh, platform event cha channel member has been created successfully and this has been created for a account change event so uh, now i want in this channel that is the event sales app underscore underscore channel i want to create a new change event a new platform event change member so what i'll do is i'll i've created this body already i'll just copy paste here for a contact change event and i'll add that in postman so the uri would remain the same uh, it would be platform event channel member and uh, i'll just click on send now uh, the ch event channel is this just click on send and this new uh, platform event channel member has been created successfully so now it's time to test our channel so what we'll do is we'll copy this channel name and and we will uh, just uh, change the uri uh, to slash data slash event sales app underscore underscore channel and we'll subscribe right and we have successfully subscribed to this channel now uh, firstly i'll change our account let's say i change the name change from ui again click on save uh, so we'll we have received this notification uh, that 
uh, this account has been updated and the name is now changed from UI again. So this notification will be received by the external sy system and they can uh, change their data based on these. And uh, uh, so now I'll, uh, since we already added a contact change event also uh, in this uh, channel, so I'll go to a contact and I'll try to edit this contact. I'll just click on edit. So I'll change the name from Sam to Summer and uh, I'll just click on save. So now let's see if we have received the notification or not. So we have received the notification for a contact and the change type is update. So uh, we have received the first name and the last name that got changed. The name field got changed and here is the replay id here is the channel and you can see both account and contact have been uh, the notifications for those have been received to the same same channel so uh, that's all for today's session hope you enjoyed the video and got to learn something new so uh, i'll try to become uh, i'll try to make more such videos in the upcoming videos please like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching everyone